friends, it's me. Your favorite <sighs> tea drinking YouTuber. And that's the tea. Anyways, today we're gonna be checking out some of the coolest hotels around the world. There's a lot of them that you probably didn't know existed. Hotel Kaxlautunen. Kaxlautunen. Say it with me. Kaxlautunen. In Finland. They're like partly underground hotel rooms. And the whole like ceiling above you is a window. And you're supposed to like watch the northern lights. This is something that I want to do one day. Whoa, you got the bed and then you got like the whole view of the sky like as you're laying down. But do you have a bathroom though? Where do you do the dirty? <laughs> In Idaho, we got a dog hotel. Oh, but there's a catch. No pets allowed. It's like you're staying in a dog. What more could you possibly want? It's called the Dog Bark Park. It was the perfect opportunity to name it the Good Boy Hotel, and you missed it. <laughs> it looks like your grandma's room. A grandma who loves dogs. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This is really ugly. <laughs> Women over 50 named Barbara or Nancy have a 90% chance of staying here. Also, who goes to Idaho? Like, y'all can get potatoes anywhere. But if you do go make sure to pet him on his snoot. It's a good snoot. This hotel has a glass floor and it is in Bali. And you can see all the fishies under you. I just imagine myself after a night of partying. I come back to my hotel room. I'm like, ah! Or getting up in the middle of the night, you're trying to get a glass of water, you step on the floor and have like a mini panic heart attack. I almost fell through. I think there would be a 105% chance that I would trip on one of those wood beams though. Or hit my shins on one of the corners of that bed. Anything wood, I always end up slamming some part of my body against. I don't know why, it just happens. I'm like a termite, except instead of eating wood, I hit myself against it. <laughs> this is amazing. I would love to like sit on the floor all day, maybe lay down on it, make some fishy friends and then walk my booty down to the nearest seafood restaurant and then eat my new friends. Oh! <sighs> <laughs> this is in Machu Picchu. How do you even get up there? Did you have to just like use a pickaxe and like hike up there? Are there stairs? It's like once you stay in that pod, like you're staying there the rest of your stay. What if you need to go to the bathroom? I highly doubt there's a bathroom inside there. Guys, you are so lucky. All it takes is a water bottle. Just yes, that's it. Nice. See, us females don't have that luxury. I wonder if the window's open or are you like stuck in there? Yeah, sure, it would be cool, but also like terrifying. Even for me, like, I love heights, but this is taking a little too far. I want to know how you get in here, though. Oh, uh, okay, so you just basically, like, climb up the mountain. They have, like, stairs. Just take the stairs. Y'all got an elevator? I mean, do it all for the view, all for the Instagram. Ice hotel in Sweden. It's literally like an ice castle. Whoa! The whole thing is made of ice? You got ice crystals on the ground. Ooh, imagine tripping on those. Yeah, I'm losing a leg. This is real life. Like, this is actually real. This is so dope. Like, it's dead ass Elsa's castle. She made this. It's real. It exists. Ooh, you got a skinned wolf as a blanket. Yikes. This is so insanely cool. It's in Romania. I know in Vegas, we have a ice bar. We don't get a hotel, but we got a bar. And they give you big fluffy jackets when you go in. Smash like if I should do a video there. But like everything is made out of ice. Like they carved it. It's like you're in a freezer. I don't like the cold, but like I like ice. This hotel is on a cliff in Switzerland. Like it's just chilling in the nook and cranny of a cliff. I mean it's nestled in there real good. I don't think anything bad is gonna happen unless it starts like raining mountain goats. But yeah, this is my kind of hotel. I love something with a view. Especially like mountains. I love mountains. I love clouds. I love green. Greenery. It's like literally all the stuff I like. It's like the perfect view for me. But is the food good? See, that's my number one. When I go anywhere, when I travel anywhere, is the food good? It's all about the food. Good food or go home. So in Canada, there's this hotel called the Free Spirit Spheres. I know, it's, it's a mouthful. But it's also an arm's length full. Because you literally have your hotel room inside of a sphere in a forest. <gasps> Are these like hanging on the trees? You got a whole king size bed inside. That bed actually looks spacious AF. But I think that's all you get. All you get is a bed. <laughs> Do you even get a bathroom? It looks so big on the inside. Oh, yeah, they're floating. They're like suspended from the trees. It's like an adult tree house, but a sphere. I wonder how big these are. I need human comparison. Oh, I think they're a pretty good size. They can fit like one or two people. I feel like this would be cool for like 10 minutes and then you'll be like, okay, this is neat. But I'd really like to have a bathroom and a desk and a, a fridge. Or is that just me? <laughs> it looked like a chestnut. <laughs> 
I also don't like how it has only one window. I feel like they should have made like the whole thing a window. I mean, then you'll get like no privacy, but it'd be hella cool. Oh wait, there's another one. See, this one is a whole see-through sphere and you get your own patio and it's like surrounded by trees so you get like privacy too. This is literally Sandy's dome. You know, SpongeBob, he gotta wear a helmet of water. <laughs> I don't even breathe water. I could barely breathe looking at this. I feel like you would run out of air if it doesn't have any holes in it. Like one night you're just sleeping and <gasps> I can't breathe all the air. We ran out of air. That's actually a problem in this. It's like you're in a transparent beach ball. You finna run out of air. Oh my God, when it snows, this is so insanely cool. So these are in France. Now that I look at it, it's like a see-through igloo. The same shape and everything. Okay, I do not see a bathroom. I feel like y'all could have definitely put a bathroom in there. I consume a lot of liquids. <sighs> I'm gonna need a bathroom, okay? Mirror Cube Treehouse Hotel in Sweden. Man, Sweden get all the cool stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm thankful for Ikea, but can y'all bless us with more things? Thank you. So the walls of it are like a mirror. So it's like hidden. This is the camouflage in real life. This is so insanely cool. And it's just like floating there. Look at that. Wow. Oh, and it snows there too and it's even more camouflage. I want to live somewhere like this, but I don't want no stairs or anything. You got to like climb there, but like nobody will know where it is. I mean, if that mirror isn't like see-through, then it would kind of suck to be inside it because you're kind of just like in a dark cube. That's creepy. Giraffe Manor in Kenya. Ah! So people pay to stay at a hotel. Is it like a giraffe reservation? Is that what it's called? They got the pigs from Lion King too. Hey yo, what's up? <laughs> I know they're like friends with giraffes. It's like being friends with a really tall person. I just think it's wild that these people are just sitting here trying to enjoy their brunch and then they leave the windows open and then the giraffes just casually stick their head and neck through the windows. Be like, mm. That smells good. What y'all got there? Pancakes? Well, they're mine now. They could just stick their head and just take whatever they want. They could destroy the world if they so very please. Like, look how tall they are. They're hella tall. I feel like they just be massive leeches. Like, you just get tired of them constantly stealing your food. But I mean, if you love giraffes, this is perfect for you. Floating hotel in Zanzibar. Ooh, how's it floating? What? It's just tied? This is like concept art. Is this even built yet? There's only like wires like holding it down to like the bottom of the ocean and like half of it is like above water and half of it is below water. Whoa, it's only one room and it's just like literally in the middle of the ocean. Y'all gotta swim there or something? I mean, people go on vacation to relax, but if you wanna go on vacation to feel stranded, like your job and daily life is too relaxing and you trying to go on vacation to feel stranded in the middle of the ocean, I guess this is perfect for you. You know, my heart says this hotel, my anxiety says Marriott. The safe but filthy bet. Another one from Sweden called Kohler Bin Eco Lodge. Hey, wait, is this a hotel or Bigfoot's residence? What kind of swamp creature lives in this? Oh, that does not look like a hotel. They're just like huts like covered in dirt and grass. Y'all don't even got any mirrors or anything. I mean, might as well stay in like a log cabin. Ah, this is the reception. That's adorable. It's just like a little wooden lemonade stand. It's got like a little fireplace. Tiny. Those beds look really uncomfy. This look like some black mirror-ish. So the cabin, again, in Sweden. Sweden got all the fancy stuff. All the fancy floating tree forest hotels you could dream of. This one looks like it's gonna fall. Like, what if something happens? The winds are too strong. Those are some pretty skinny trees. It's your boy. Skinny tree. <gasps> this is like a whole island hotel in India. The whole thing is a hotel. It's just like chilling on the water. Imagine how rich you had to be to like make something like this. I want to be away on my own private island, but I love the city. So make a whole city on a private island, okay? This would be insane to stay at. I would love to stay here. <gasps> Fairy chimney hotel in Turkey. This is crazy. It looks like someone melted all the members of the KKK and like made buildings out of them. <laughs> what? Where did the idea even come from? It's just very unique looking. It looks like it's part of the mountains, but it's like the same material that you make chimneys out of, you know, like clay. It's like giants that were also amateur ceramic students. They just like molded these together and like put holes in them and was like, all right. But this is what it looks like inside. There's so many little rooms. Ooh, that's creepy, but it's also very like cozy and cute. Probably not my style, but I like it. So in Costa Rica, they took an airplane and was like, okay, we're gonna make a hotel out of this. 
<laughs> and that's exactly what they did. Whoa, they made the whole plane like wooden. I am shook. I'm like, how tacky is this gonna look before seeing the inside of it? But it actually, they pulled it off so well. Like that looks sick. In Berlin, there's a caravan hotel. I'm trying to think what is the point of this? Because it's literally like a hotel room and you got a caravan in it. So if you wanna be like, ooh, I stayed at a caravan hotel, but I still have all the amenities of a regular hotel room, <laughs> okay? I mean, you get to sleep in a caravan. This would be much cooler if it was outdoors. You even get like a little mini house with like a patio and plants and like the whole caravan living experience, but indoors. Kinda like a mini movie set. I'm trying to open the door. But somebody locked me in so he can have his chips and guac. There's no chips. There's no chips? It's veggies this time. It's veggies? Yum. Oh, that's so cute. They give you chips and guac. Oh, wait, there's no chips. It's veggies. I don't like jacama. And the hibiscus water, which is very nice. I think I'll eat this first. What's up guys? Today is super exciting because this isn't where I usually record. It's not my house. I am in Mexico. I've been wanting to go here for so long now and we finally did it. Sausage booked the trip and we are here. This is kind of my first vacation. I've never been to a beach like this. The only beaches I've ever been on was like LA. I don't know. I don't really consider those like a, a nice beach. It's just, I've never been somewhere like this. So it is super new and exciting to me. Since this was our first time, we decided to go all out. This place is the most fancy place I have ever been to in my life and I, I had to record this on the second day just so I wasn't like I was going a little crazy yesterday my hair looks like a bird's nest and I'm all dusty because we just rode ATVs we went on this trail it was like a two-hour ride it was it was amazing like I'll make a video on that I'll show you guys everything I've been doing because I've been doing a lot I've been recording a lot but today I just wanted to show you guys the hotel because I feel like it deserves a video it's like insane this is the most insane hotel I've ever stayed at in my life it's got three balconies it's got a pool on the balcony it's an infinity pool it's got a fire pit I'll shut up and I'll just show you Expecting you. Hello. Okay, so welcome to my house. Okay, it's not a house, it's a hotel room. We have a lovely chandelier from the 1920s era. No, I don't know, don't don't quote me on that. I don't know what it is. And we have this little sitting area as soon as you walk in. I can wait here while sausage gets ready because he takes like an hour to get ready. Yeah, I think you got that reversed. No. Might just be me. No. No. His poops take 20, 30 minutes. And there's that, one yeah, bathroom I, here. Yeah. And before I had to wait. I got off early food. to let you poop. No, no, no. But what do you mean you got off early? I wasn't finished. <laughs> it's like when you call me down to eat dinner. It's like I'm not done with my match. It's the AC. It's the AC. Okay. Um, moving on. Right here, we have the living room. There's a lot of traveler's guides to Mexico. Wow, my favorite book, Traveler's Guide to Mexico. Yes, and a In Mexico magazine. That's how you know I'm in Mexico. And a Tendencia, James Bond magazine. <laughs> right here we have a lovely fireplace that turns on when you snap. Oh no, you're it's, dumb. It's, it's turning on, wait. Yes, there's fire! That means it's turning on. Yes! Okay. Um, right here we have the couch. Here we have a coffee maker, glasses, and here we have a mini fridge, except everything in the mini fridge is complimentary. America, take notes. Not $10, $5, $3 of water. Everything is free and there is- $3 for a water is pretty generous. I think you mean six. Yeah, six dollars for a water in America. Here they give it complimentary and they restock it every day. And you have your coffee cups here. Little table, they give you chips and guac every night, but they only gave veggie sti sticks and they ranch. Gave veggie sticks. They gave me the guac and salsa, but- No chips. They didn't give me the chips. I'm right sad. Right here is my little workstation. I got my videos, I still do videos. This is one of the three balconies. 
This is the least used one. I don't even think I've been out here yet. And the view, look at the view. What's it so nice for? I have my hair blowing in the wind. <laughs> no, seriously though, look at the houses up there. Go back inside. We lock the doors by pulling these things, or pushing them. Yes, pushing, we push them. Over here is the best part, but you'll see that later. We're gonna save it for last. Oh, there's another TV over there. I never noticed that TV. Here's a nice view of the resort from one of the windows. So here we have a special bottle of tequila. This was complimentary. When you check in, they give you a little bottle. Haven't really drank any yet. And there's little shot glasses. Oh no, they took all the limes. There was limes there yesterday, but now they're gone. And there's little sugar. And here there are some baby cactuses. They're just babies, so you can still pet them. They're fake. No, they're not, they're real. So let's go to the bedroom next. Here's the bedroom. I sleep here. Yesterday they put rose petals all over the bed and they gave us a hand-blown glass heart. There's a lot of these around the resort. They're like all hung up on trees and they look very cute. Right here, we have the closet. There's a lot of closets. And one of them has a mirror. Now you can see who's behind the camera. Oh, yes. Exposed. Your photographer's been exposed. Oh, so when I take a poop, I can lock you out. Can I help you? Show me the bathroom. Would you like to go to the bathroom? Yes. No. You're not allowed in the bathroom. Here's the bathroom. We have a two sinks here. We have a lovely towel rack and more cactuses. This one might hurt a little. No, it's not. It's perfectly safe to touch and pet. I'm petting it. He's You're weird. Nice. His name's Edgar. No. Yes, it is. Leave him alone. And we have a little sitting area here while you're waiting to take a bath. Or I don't even know what this is for. It's just cute. And we have a shower right here. It's a rainforest shower, so it like falls from the top. Let me show you. So fancy! I need a bath, I'm so dirty after, I'm so dusty now. And they give you these little shampoos and conditioners which are very fancy and oh, look at the soap. Look. This is the cutest soap I've ever seen. Here is the bathtub and I can't wait to use this. It even has this little thing on it. So you can put like a glass of wine or something. I don't drink wine, so water. And there's a mirror on top so as soon as you get out of the bath, you can take a selfie. <laughs> Oh, we got a robe here and towels. Sausage is gonna show you guys the second best balcony. Still haven't seen the best part of this yet. Here's the balcony! Come on in! Whoa! Wow. I, didn't, I didn't see a chair there. I was like looking straight up. Okay, um, here we have couches. Plenty of couches. Take a seat, put your feet up. And look at the view. It's amazing to just sit here and look at the view and the air is so nice and we have another cactus friend. This one's old, it's got the sharp, thick, what are they called? Needles? Pricks. Pricks? His name is Jimmy. No. I'm not, not too fond of him. <laughs> so over there, we got the best part. And this is the best part. 
part, the part you've all been waiting for. This is the balcony that we spent the most time on and it's so nice. We got a fire pit right here, we got it going so it's warm. It was really cold and windy yesterday so we needed this. And we have beds so you can just tan. But there's no sun right now because it's like getting late. And here we have the pool. Can I go all the way? No, I got my pants wet. I didn't want to get my pants wet. Dummy. No. I don't want to go all the way in because I don't want to get my pants wet. So this is the pool. It's an infinity pool. You can swim around a little bit in it, believe it or not. It's not that deep, but it's really nice to just sit there and like look at the ocean and pretend you're in the ocean when you're not. You're just in a pool. <laughs> But the water is really warm, that's why I like it. In the rooms they also have binoculars, so you can spy on your neighbors. Or not. I'm just kidding, it's actually for whale watching. We saw what we thought was a whale yesterday. Well, Sausage thought it was a whale. I'm like, nah, that's a manatee or a seal, and it ended up being a seal. There's a big pool down there at the resort. There's a lot of big pools there. There's another pool there. It's like against the ocean. It's really nice. It's by the restaurant. What's up guys? So I am in Vegas today and we're gonna go play World of Tanks Blitz and I'm gonna go watch the live stream and I'm really excited. First of all, I want to show you my room real quick before I go. I gotta go like right now. I gotta check out. So <laughs> this room, this room is no longer mine. Let me, let me show you. This is the first time I had stairs in a damn hotel room. So, and if you're old, we got a railing for you. You can pull yourself up. Or pull yourself down. I like having stairs. Ugh. And here's the bathroom. They don't have a bathtub. I wanted to do the, the bubble bath thing again, but there's no bathtub in here. But there is a toilet. Oh, I'm tired. Going up the stairs made me so tired. Dead ass is more stairs than in my house. This is like double the stairs in my house. Here is the lounging area where we sit down and read the menu for room service. And right here, You must use your whole body to push this door open. Come on in to my little patio. We have a little hot tub here. I was in this last night, it's very nice. It's two feet, 10 inches. Just like sausage. <laughs> this is our breakfast right now. I got eggs, hash browns, sausages. Thank you. You're welcome. To my iced coffee and milk. And my desserts is all gluten free. Well, would you look at that? VIP for M E. So we're at the Mobile Masters tournament right now. We're like one of the first people here, so there's nobody here yet. And it's like a really cool tournament arena thing. We got World of Tanks Blitz over here. Everybody's getting ready right now. We're about to go in. Here are the teams. So the last round, the red team won, and now these guys are playing against each other. Who's gonna win? Guys, I'm gonna run up on stage. Do it for the vlog. We're watching. We need a commentator. And red team goes to hide behind the trees in the mountains. Guys, we have the same name and we have the same shoes. <laughs> what kind of coincidence is that? I don't know. So good. Guys, blue team just won. They are very happy and they are very upset. Just plug it. Can I grab the camera? It's so close I can grab it. <laughs> it's just a prank bro. <laughs> I told you guys, I called it. I had such a great time at the Mobile Masters tournament watching this. It's over, red team won. Let's go talk to the winners. Here are the winners. Come on, man, go up and I'm talk the winner. <laughs> go up and get your prize. Okay. Yes. Can I go up to him? Am I not allowed? Am I not important enough? I just said, hey, 
You guys. I want to be that important. I want to go up on stage. All right. We'll be Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Ma'am, can you get off the stage, please? Right. It's not a deal. It doesn't matter that we What's right? I want to play. <laughs> what is it? Guys, I'm a professional gamer now. Netflix. <laughs> Push it. Um, I'm a professional Netflixer. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I always wanted to take a pic on a sponsor sheet. How do I get up on the sponsor sheet? <laughs> Guys, I'm sponsored by all of these. Guys. Guys, someone telling me not to do this? <laughs> I am ruining this for the next people that have to do this tournament. Hold up, hold up. One for you, one for you. Whoa. <laughs> Let's keep this PG. <laughs> Oh hi, I didn't see you there. We are playing World of Tanks Blitz. We are playing World of Tanks Blitz right here. Here's my tank. It'll fuck up your tank. Let's play musical chairs. Can we play musical chairs? <laughs> I think we should play musical chairs real quick. Do you guys want to do that? Yeah, let's do Okay. It. We're gonna play musical chairs with Leah. Her name's Leah too. Hey Dave. I was gonna unplug chairs? all this. On the music. Yeah. Yeah. Two and then one. Do you guys have play a song? Any song? I'll play a song. Ready? Yeah. I'm playing too. You have to play. Oh. Play music. Do you have music? You have music on you. Give me your damn phone. Wait, Give me your damn phone. Just sing. Give me your damn phone. Okay. <laughs> I know he's got music. All right, cool. Okay. <laughs> One chair now. One chair to go. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Let's do this. Uh, I have to turn away so it's not biased. Okay. How about you? She's a real me. winner here. Disowned. Thank you everybody for letting me do what I want. I tripped on your foot. <laughs> I forgot my phone and my glasses and my bag and my everything. Oh um, no, somebody took my jacket. No, dead ass. Someone took my jacket. Dead ass. Someone took my jacket. Where is it? I put it right here. I put it right here. It's a great bargain. What are you missing? Baby, where's my jacket? Uh, what jacket? My bag, my jacket, and my phone. And you're missing your bag too? No, your bag's right there. No, but my phone and my jacket. Uh, I don't know. I didn't take it off over there. I took it off here. Is that it on the No. No. Black. Oh, here it is. Oh. Oh, good. It just fell. Guys, they brought food. This is my favorite kind of soup. I love honey mustard soup and ranch soup and this is what I'm eating. I got a pickle salad. All right, so we are here with one of the winners from the tournament, David. Hi, Mike. Where are you guys from? I don't have a mic, so this is going to be my mic. Well, I'm going to do a mic. I'm going to show you guys how to play World of Tanks. Let's go play. It's a 7v7 live game uh -huh. where uh, yeah. different maps, different, different types of tanks. Mm -hmm. So this one is called Mines. Mostly you just rush for the hill and try, and try to take control of it. Oh, okay. 
So yeah, I've played World of Tanks, so I know like it's the bigger one. You yeah, we played the bigger yeah. brother. This one, the maps are much smaller, mm -hmm. and the gameplay is much is much faster. There's no artillery. Yeah. People are people are people. Are, it's a seven minute battle, so the big stuff usually is to get to the key positions. In this case, the hill, oh, okay. and uh, to uh, spot the spot the enemies. So there's me and a T28 that's basically going in the right direction. Yeah. And in the enemy team, they didn't really go in the right direction. So we now on the mini map, you can see we control the center of the map and the high ground. So light bulb says I'm spotted. And I can just start poking oh, and putting okay. shots in. I'm gonna go shoot the guys in the back. I don't think they can see me from here. So this is the first mm. tournament you won? Uh, yep. This is the fir this is the first uh, offline tournament we've had in North America oh, okay. exclusively. Do you do a lot of mobile game tournaments? Uh, in game there are tournaments. I don't play any other game except for this one. My second offline tournament. Oh, wow. yeah. Thank you so much. No problem. Nice to meet you. Now. We're leaving. What are you guys gonna do? We're gonna hang out with you guys. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so we're leaving Vegas right now. We're on our way to the airport. I had a really fun day in Vegas and look who I have here. I have Digital Nexus puppy. Does Pugsy know how to howl? If you howl in his face, you will. Today we're gonna be doing some exposing. I don't know about you guys, but I always wonder. I can't do it with you here. Why? It's so weird. It's like I can't be myself with you here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if I trigger you a little, you're just gonna laugh and it's gonna throw my whole thing <laughs> off. Gonna, I don't know why you're so worried about me laughing at you because you're not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> just do it. I, I swear I'll be quiet. No more laughing. I didn't even say anything! <laughs> Get it all out of your system. <clears> ha. <throat> huh. Okay, without further ado, we can finally start this video. Bing's Hotels don't want you to know. Today's video is gonna be a podcast. We need like a mic right here. Pretend this is a oh, mic. Oh yeah, that's true. Is this on? Most hotels pay housekeepers per room they clean. That make me work harder to be a house cleaner, to be honest. They pay housekeepers per room they clean? That's horrible if it's true, and I don't think that's the case at all. Well, think about it. It's, it's like getting paid on commission, you know, instead of hours. Let's say you get paid $50 a room. $50 See, a room? I know room? that's good for you. Oh, I oh excuse if me. If you're for the housekeeper, but for the customer, that means the rooms are not going to get clean thoroughly. They're going to be still dirty. They're going to want a half and half. It has to be some sort of inspection besides the housekeeper. Yeah, because I feel like most hotel rooms that I go to are pretty clean. But like the goal is to clean as many rooms. You don't have to make them perfect. Nowhere near perfect, okay? We're just gonna get away with the bare minimum instead of taking your time and thoroughly cleaning as many rooms as you can. Yeah, if I'm getting paid per room now, I'm trying to make it rain out here. It's hard for a housekeeper. I really hope this is not the case and everything because that makes you wonder. Like they're not gonna do extra effort like change the sheets. <laughs> because think about it. You know when they come around with those little carts? Mm -hmm. Carrying everything. How can that carry a whole thing of bedding? And like what if you want to have like new bedding? Like what she has like new bedding in that little cart for everywhere. Like bedding takes up a lot of space. You blowing my mind. Like we think housekeeping is like such a simple job. Blah, no, blah, blah, it's that. not. There's it's... literally so much. Like imagine somebody throwing some wild party. Several bodily fluids are in the carpet. You're not gonna want to stay in that. Like the next customer. Like I'm trying to throw up the next day. Yeah, there's there's a lot of things that could stay in that carpet. And sometimes they just try to get the stain out or whatever. It's not 100% yeah, like sanitized. Yeah, steaming and all no. this other stuff. Like if this is the case, then they're gonna just want to do as many rooms as possible, which is not very good. Do you have anything to say? I mean, you got me all dumbfounded on this. The best time for hotel stays is on a Sunday early in 
the month. So Sundays are the best days to stay at a hotel. The reason, vacationers are on their way out and business travelers have yet to arrive, meaning there are more rooms to choose from. I mean, that makes sense. That's like if you're going for one day. And that's not the case in Vegas at all because weekends are expensive. Actually, maybe Sunday is cheap. When I travel, I usually go from like Sunday to Tuesday. I guess that's if I have to, if I'm trying to save money. But Sunday and Monday to be in a new place kind of sucks because a lot of things close early on Sundays and a lot of things are closed on Mondays. So like I used to not like going to LA on Sundays or Mondays because my favorite restaurant would be closed. I really want that Chinese food right now. You, you, you feel like taking a four hour trip to get Chinese food. Uh, yeah. You drive two hours, I drive two hours. I, I drive the whole way, you just drive all the way back. I would drive four hours right now for some good ass fried chicken. Sounds really good right yeah. now. Okay, so this is something new that I am just learning now. So if you're staying for just one night at a hotel, you might get walked. There's a term called walking a guest. The average no-show rate at hotels is 10% daily. So they expect 10% of people not to check in. So hotels will overbook whenever possible. That is a dangerous game to play. Hotel owners gambling every day of their life. Yeah, exactly. Oh, we don't care about having enough hotel rooms. That give me hella anxiety. This is like what anxiety is. <laughs> in a hotel business. I, I imagine know. that being stressful. That's very stressful. You know our college here in Vegas yeah. literally has a whole center dedicated to hotel business. And how to run a hotel. Damn. Yeah, no, it's literally just a uh, hotel school. There's, there's hella hotels and casinos here, so. Yeah, so this is what walking a guest is. So what happens if you show up and they're like, sorry, we don't have any more rooms left. They're like, I made a reservation on Trivago. And like, <laughs> Where was my hotel room? <laughs> so then that hotel, because they sold out, even though they promised a reservation for you, so they have to send you to another hotel that's similar in price and quality. And the hotel will pay for an entire night's room, plus tax, plus one phone call. What? Who needs a phone call anymore? At another comparable hotel in the area. Okay, so if you want to get walked in hopes of getting a free room, this is what you got to do. So like, if they walk you, you're basically getting another hotel room for free and they're paying for it. So if you book using Expedia, where you have a deeply discounted rate and is less important, you never stayed there before and never visit the city again, or you only have a one night reservation. Yeah, I guess it's a good thing to get walked. This never happened to me before, but that's one way to get a free night stay. Tips and tricks for your favorite hotels. Okay, this is important. Never ever pay for the mini bar, and this is true, and I know a lot about this. So most people are appalled at the prices of mini bars, because you got a smart water. It ain't even the big one. It's like the medium size one for $8. And you know, sometimes you come back to your hotel at night after a long night of bad choices and you thirsty AF. See, they got free ice at hotels, but they don't have free water. And then you open up the mini fridge and there is an $8 day Sani right there. What do you do? <laughs> dollar day Sani. You got, you got no choice but to drink it. Or, you know, go back downstairs, go to a gas station and get a thing of water. That's what we always <laughs> I wish we always did that, but you know, sausage, you always gotta go back to the room and be like, hey, I'm thirsty. I'll just I just drink the room. I just drink the water from the mini bar. I need the finest of the fine. Yeah, that aqua pas Toscana water. Oh my god, I went to a hotel in LA mm -hmm. and I asked them, I was like, hey, can I get a water? Because I was going for like a walk. Mm -hmm. And it was like the restaurant in the hotel. And mm -hmm. then they come back with a $9 glass bottle of aqua Toscana or whatever the heck that fancy water is and they charged me nine dollars for it and gave me like a freaking <laughs> restaurant bill nine dollars for a water like i wanted like a cup of freaking tap water it was at least nice of them to offer you something I, the hotel i went to the guy didn't even say hi or bye to me <laughs> <laughs> just threw my key at me so mini bar charges are without question the most disputed charges on any bill that's true so you know when you're checking out of a hotel and then they ask you did you use anything from the mini bar because they can see the charge if you supposedly did and most people be like no I didn't take anything on the mini bar They just automatically be like yeah, okay. Don't they like, have sensors in those things? Yeah, that's the thing That's how they get the charges But the sensors aren't always accurate because it's like some mini bars They even have like a disclaimer That's like if you pick up the item for more than three seconds, then you're automatically charged for it So do you got to do like the Indiana Jones thing where you have something that will equal weight and just like Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you could do that too. I wonder how that works. Like little bags of sand of 
each way and you just yeah. like replace it. So what if you lift it and like look at the ingredients or whatever and then put it back, but it already charged it to your room. I feel like they've never had a problem with this ever. Like when you check out and then they read you your charges, what you just you be like, I didn't do that. Even if you actually did, like you can eat everything in the mini bar. What? Maybe that's why I've never been charged for a mini bar ever because I don't check out like through the person. I just like leave and I've never been charged for the mini Can't bar. Can't they just charge it after the fact? I don't know. I think you're supposed maybe to like- Maybe you've never checked it and you've <laughs> you're you're so many mini to, bars. No, maybe you're supposed to like approve it. I don't know. I don't is know that really. life hacks or is this video going to get- Is this life <laughs> For beating the system. <laughs> find, out, I, find out why hotels hate her. <laughs> What if you bump into it and you knock everything over in it? Yeah, well then when you check out, you just be like, I didn't buy this. So you literally bought everything in that mini fridge. They can't prove that you didn't. <laughs> you, can't. you know, they don't keep track of when they like restock it and how much things they restocked into it. Like it's too much effort, I feel, to eating Snickers. Hey, did you take a Snickers out of the mini bar? No, it wasn't me. You're calling me a liar? <laughs> can you throw the Snickers driver away from me? <laughs> Book on a discount site, get a discount experience? What? Y'all can't do me like that. So if you pay less for a hotel, they won't treat you as well. Hey, that rhymes. So reservations made through internet discount sites are almost always slated for our worst rooms. I feel gypped if this is true. You're gonna jip us out of money, we're gonna jip you out of a good room. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, we got our best. Sweet available for you today, ma'am. Just ignore the large body stain in the middle of the floor. <laughs> These are like hotel conspiracy theories right here. So the one who paid the most for the hotel gets the best room? I wonder if it's that's true because like during like conventions and events, I've booked hotel rooms that are usually like two to three hundred dollars a night that are like seven hundred a night just because of the event. I don't know. I feel like I've gotten a good room. But what if you could have had a better room? That is true. I probably could have. Why is the real reason why hotels have ice machines. Yeah, why do they have ice machines but no water? Yeah, girl, instead of paying $8 for the water, I go to the ice machine and then get the cups that they have in the bathroom and then put the ice in and wait for it to melt so when I wake <laughs> up, I won't be parched and have a perfectly good It'll be nice and cold, cold for water. You. Yeah. So apparently a long time ago, hotels charged you for ice and charged you a lot. One hotel started doing free ice and then it spread like wildfire and everybody started putting red in the thumbnails. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, hotel guests will use ice machines from serving cocktails to filling up their coolers. Okay? I don't even know what we're doing with this video. It's I don't know what this video is. This video, this video I told you from me. the beginning. I wanted to investigate shady hotel stuff. Okay, this is a podcast. Remember that. And what did I tell you? What did I say? It's going to be hard to what with this video? Edit all our pauses. <laughs> It's gonna be hard to make it funny. Well, didn't you learn a lot from this video? I learned how to be a cheap <laughs> I'm just thinking about I can't video. even do videos with him because all he does is laugh. <laughs> I'm just thinking about how funny would it be to watch a video where the people in the video just give up <laughs> are foggy. Why did I cry so much? I don't know. Look at all these tears. I don't think I've ever cried this serious? much from laughing. Oh my They're God. actual tears streaming from my face. Is this over yet? Did you just make that the video? <laughs> Watch us have a mental breakdown. Make sure it's 10 minutes. <laughs> Okay, but anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs>